man, it's going to come down to the last minute, and we have to make sure that we're staying in it. We're not getting dejected when, you know, they get a big play. We just got to go out there and transfer the energy back and go. we go make a play and just keep, you know, it's like, it's like a boxing match, basketball, whatever you want to call it. Just keep throwing our punches, man, until, until the time run out. How bad did you need this one to avoid four and six going into the bye week? Yeah, we needed it bad. We talked, I talked about it earlier in the week, man, just having urgency uh, with everything that we're doing, you know, and I think going into this bye week, we're going to rest up. Coming back next week with the same amount of urgency that we had this week. And that's what it's really all about, man. It's not all about, you know, we're playing a huge team, we're playing the MVP. We know we got coming to town. We're showing a lot of urgency. We're excited for a big game. We got to treat every single game like that as if we're going against the MVP and we're going against a great offense because that's how it usually is every single week. So that's what it's all about. But we're going to enjoy this one today. I'm proud of my guys. Proud of everybody battling their ass off. That's, that, that's what it's all about, man. We're gonna keep battling and fighting our ass off until the clock hits zero. And that's and that's what we do every single day. That's what we've been doing this entire season. Things don't always go perfect. You know, we're not gonna make every single play, but it's all about keep fighting and keep battling. Because at the end of the day, you know, they may make some mistakes and different things like that. So that's what it's all about, man. Just battling our ass off, man. I'm proud of our guys. Man, it was incredible, man. Ryan Tannehill, man, threw some darts. He threw some strikes. Uh, I mean, our offense has been rolling. And I can't do nothing to be, be happy for those guys. And as a defense, we have to take the energy that they're bringing, the energy that Derrick Henry's bringing every single game, and keep going and keep trying to transfer that to the defense and making plays, special teams making plays. It's all about a team effort, man. We'll fix the things that we need to fix today. But, I mean, hats off to the Kansas Chiefs, man. They're a talented team. They made their plays. But at the end of the day, we made the necessary plays we need to win the game. I mean, like I said, man, this guy has been has been incredible since he's been the starter. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm happy for him. Uh, I'm just happy that the offense was able to go out there and execute and make plays at the end of the day. Uh, it, it's just exciting, you know what I'm saying? When you're on the bench and you've seen the offense making plays and those guys out there playing hard, offensive linemen finishing, uh, it's an incredible sight. So I expect to keep seeing those things throughout the rest of the year. Yeah, man, I mean, Kalu's been, like you said, he's been on IR, but, I mean, this guy's been working this entire this entire season. I see him coming in every single day, uh, working out with the strength coach, staying ready. Um, it's just a testament to a guy staying patient and staying humble and understanding that when this moment comes, you go out there and make the huge play. So, like I said, I'm proud of him. His locker literally is right next to mine on the right. So we talk all the time. We talked about him coming back, making plays. And, like I said, I mean, I'm just proud of him, man. And that's, that, it's funny because, I mean, this guy, he has a ton of confidence. And he knew, I feel like when he came, when he went in there, he knew he was going to block it, and he did it. So, like I said, man, testament to him, man. Hats off to him. I'm proud of him.